Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Simone. And before we get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can join the family, girl, cause we are growing. Yes. So today is Saturday. It is Saturday, May 21st, 10.45 in the morning. So I'm currently sitting at my work desk because I did have to come in for a few hours. And when I come in, I work from home. But I did have to clock in for a few hours um to work but hopefully i should be done you know in a couple hours hopefully by 12 because so today was supposed to be more exciting than it probably is going to be for the rest of this vlog um my dad was supposed to be one of the vendors for this event it was supposed to be in fort worth and i guess i'm not really sure what it was um i guess it was just like a 90s theme party and he was just going to be one of the um the food vendors but they ended up getting canceling like last minute uh, my dad called me last night and told me some stuff it didn't even really make sense but so yeah he um we're no longer gonna do that but i was really excited to do it because i don't know i just kind of wanted to like dress up in 90s wear and just you know just go out i know it's supposed to be in like i said fort worth but I wasn't really sure of the location and it was supposed to be like an overnight thing from like um 10 p.m to 2 a.m and i know that was going to be really fun but unfortunately it got canceled so i really don't know what <laughs> i'm gonna do now um i'm trying to see if there's anything i really need to do Oh, by the way, yeah, my nails are orange, and <laughs> I actually, these are not press-ons. Y'all know I've been wearing press-ons for the last, I want to say, like, two months. But um, I actually went to go get my nails done at the nail shop, and I just got my regular um, dip powder. I'm not sure what convinced me to get this bright neon orange color, but I don't know. It just kind of just drew my attention. And also, I know I look kind of crazy right now. My hair is like all over my head, but you know, that's life. I can't always come on the screen looking like a beauty queen. So, that's, what is on my lip? A piece of hair. That's gross. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come in and say hey to the vlog. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing today. And it's actually like a really gloomy day outside. It's supposed to rain but you never know texas weather is just does what she wants to do well now it says it's not gonna rain until like 3 p.m but i guess we'll see so i did i know i wanted to go to academy which is very random but i wanted to get these um camo pants i'm gonna put a picture of them here not like regular army fatigue print not that camo like the hunter camo like i said i'm gonna put a picture here but i was on pinterest one day and i seen like um i don't know that's a trendy thing i haven't really seen it except for on pinterest but the way that they had put the outfits together it was really cute so i want to see if i can go to academy and find those and then um yeah after that i really don't know what else i'm gonna do so I guess we'll see. But I know for sure I'm not going to come back looking like this. <laughs> so um, after I clock out, I'm going to go, you know, take a shower and make myself look presentable for the day. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to come back and just say good morning. So happy Saturday. I hope everybody has a good Saturday morning and a great weekend. And yeah, what? Um, that I wanted to say so at this point I'm just holding the camera <laughs> and not even saying anything Those, I actually got these like a week and a half ago and they still look pretty good just warmed up my coffee because it got cold I actually think I just said that <laughs> Now that my dad is not, he's not going to be doing that event anymore. Um, I know that Keisha was supposed to be doing something for her birthday. Um, I'm going to text her and see. But yeah, her birthday is, I look so crazy. <laughs> um, 
her like I said, her birthday is May 24th. So I'm gonna see if I can find her some like a gift or something, or maybe like send her some flowers or you know something sweet. I hope I'm done in the next couple of hours because who wants to be working on a Saturday? Nobody. Even though it's not the whole day, but you know I could be doing other things. So yeah, um, when I come back, like I said, I'll be more put together and not looking like a ragamuffin. Yeah. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm still not off of work. It's like 10 minutes later, but I wanted to come back and um, <clears throat> show y'all how I refresh my curls. This is a wash and go from like, I think I did it like last Sunday. No, it was Monday. So yeah, I did a wash and go Monday, but I just wanted to kind of refresh them because they are looking a little bit frizzy and yeah, so I just want to refresh them. But I wanted to just do that on camera. I really don't know why. But I'm going to, this is the only thing I'm going to use to refresh my curls, which is a spray bottle with just water. And I actually put ice in it. Um, if y'all can see that, it's ice in there. So I use really, really, really cold water. And I actually just started doing this because I've seen glam twins i'm pretty sure everybody knows glam twins <laughs> here on youtube um they were saying that you know using really really cold water it actually makes your hair really shiny and i don't know what the other benefits are but yeah <laughs> so i'm just going to use water just so i can reactivate the product that's in my hair and then let it dry and the only product that i use which is actually some i didn't even bring it's way over there in the kitchen so the only product that i use to do my wash and goes now is this kinky curly and so yeah this is the only thing that i have been using to do my wash and goes and i know i'm probably late to the game because when you know the natural hair community was just starting off and everything was popping this is one of the top products that everybody used and i just never really followed the train or hopped on the train but now I picked this up because I just needed something. Because you know how your hair gets used to products over time and it just doesn't work the same. So that's what happened to me. So I was in Target and I decided to pick this up just to try it and see. And yeah, this really, now I see why everybody was hopping on this line. Because I haven't tried everything else, but specifically this um, curling custard. Yes, it, it is the truth. So yeah, this is the only thing that I use in my wash and goes. Um, let me know if y'all tried this line and the other products from this line that you do like because I actually like it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna switch up until this stops working for me. So yeah, if you're thinking about trying this and you haven't tried it yet, I would say definitely try it because it gives a really good hold. It makes my hair really shiny. My curls like, I usually just sleep with a bunny on and I just sleep with my hair like this. It's usually in a high pineapple, but when I wake up, it's kind of over to the side. <laughs> but yeah, it has really good hold. Um, it smells good, it just smells like marshmallows. It w it's cruelty free, which I do love because I hate companies that test on innocent animals, but that's a whole different story. Um, so yeah, like I said, it gets really good hold. It makes my hair really shiny. And it's also moisturizing because I know a lot of gels make your hair like they dry your hair out and it, add, it there's no benefits to the gel. It's just a holding product. But this actually has a lot of good benefits to it for me personally. But yeah, I'm just go ahead and refresh my curls. Yeah, I'm not going to use any brush or anything. I'm just going to... Whose horn is it? I just noticed that the horn kept going on. That was bothering me. Stop it. Okay. Yeah. But I always start with the back first. Where is... Up here, but I guess I did. <clears throat> so I'm just going to take my water. And usually I just focus it on my ends i don't re i don't re-wet my whole head because i don't want my roots to have to dry all over again because my roots always take the longest to dry so i normally just 
you know, kind of dampen from here down and then just kind of smooth it over so the product the product is reactivating and then yeah. You know, when I used to refresh my curls, I would go back in with the same product that I used. And I realized when I was doing that, it kind of, it would leave like a white cast on my hair, which I, I hate that. Because then I'll have to wash my hair the next day because it just, it looked gross. So, yeah. I never thought of using water, but that's actually a smart idea. So then after I smooth in the water and the product, I just kind of go and take like, um, you know, some relatively thick pieces and just kind of coil the bottoms. And for me, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to make sure I reactivate whatever product, which is just that kinky custard. I just want to make sure that's reactivated so I can go back and smooth it in my hair or on my ends. And that's literally all I did. If I wasn't recording, it would probably take me maybe 10 minutes. So after I smoothed out the water and the product, this is what my curls looking like, nice and refreshed and back juicy and not dry and crusty. So here's the difference. Top, bottom. Okay. Um, stay, thank you. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that throughout my whole head. Oh, and also another thing that I do that I feel is pretty important. I don't rake the product through like I do when I first do my wash and go. I just use um, praying hands. I just use the praying hands method and you know smooth the product back through. Cause I feel like when you go through and rake it, you're kind of taking out the curls that you did when you first did your wash and go, and I don't want to do that. So, yeah. videos I can't remember which one it was I don't know if it was the last vlog I can't remember which one it was but I um I saw a comment from somebody and I think it was a video where I was saying I wanted to get my um my car detail because the seats were dirty oh yeah by the way give y'all an update I wish I had took a before and after of the seats but the guy that I went to um it actually came to me he did a really 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 like really good job and i hate that i didn't get any before and after pictures but um yeah basically the stains that were in my back seat they are literally gone so i'm gonna put his information on the screen or either in the description box and y'all make sure y'all hit him up because he did really good and um i think he does like all of the north of dallas area so if you live in north dallas then Hit him up. His name is Clifton. <clears throat> he didn't ask me to do this, but you know, I figured I'd help somebody else out that may be looking to get their car seats detailed or you know, and as of right now, he said that he only does interior, he's not doing exterior right now, so yeah. But anyway, but that's the point. <laughs> so I woke up to this comment and they were like, I'm gonna if I'm gonna take a screenshot and put it on the screen too. 
So the comment was something like, I'm pretty sure this, when you got the car, it was clean because they normally do that before they give it to you. Talking about the dealership. It was like, they normally do, do that before they give it to you. You're just being picky. And that's what you get for buying such a cheap car. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> what? That was so funny to me. Like, are you saying that to hurt my feelings? Like, okay. I'm glad that you took a ride in my car and you know what my back seats look like. Whatever. <laughs> but I told my mom about it and she was like, people just have nothing else better to do. Like that, how you gonna tell me what the inside of my car look like? Girl or boy, sir, ma'am, whatever you are, yeah whatever that was just so funny to me i'm like if you don't get <laughs> okay so now that i'm done with my hair <clears throat> i just take a t-shirt and then i just um just go over it and kind of scrunch my hair because i feel like they help to dry faster And then also it gets all the extra product, kind of like soaks it up so it's not like a white, not a white cast, but like excess product. That's what I was trying to say. So yeah, I'm just going through and just scrunching that out. And yeah, so this is how my hair is looking. Um, it's not like drenched wet, but you know, it does need to dry, it's pretty wet. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is what my hair is looking like after I refreshed them. So now I'm just going to let it dry. Um, I sometimes do like put it back up in the pineapple so it can basically just be out of my face. Cause I don't want it to be, you know, in my face, but am I going to I was. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to probably put my hair up in a pineapple and let it dry and yeah so that is how i now refresh my curls and some pieces still do look a little frizzy but that's okay because like i said i don't want it to be perfect i just want it to have a little bit more definition so yeah i don't mind a little frizz it's a couple of hours later and my hair is in a ponytail but i look bald headed <laughs> but yeah it's a couple of hours later it's currently 803 so obviously i'm in a car um i'm getting ready to go to keisha's house we are i told y'all that she was supposed to well we are going out for her birthday to celebrate her birthday this weekend so we're going to this place called the the tipsy alchemist so yeah, it should be a fun night. I look crazy right now because the sliding is very bad, but I promise I don't look as bad as I'm looking on this camera. Um, so yeah, once I get to Kitchen House, I'm gonna show y'all what I have on. It's nothing special because it never is. But at least I'm not wearing a graphic t-shirt. Aren't y'all so proud of me? Like, growth. But yeah, so I'm gonna see y'all once I get to Kitchen's House. Um, yeah, let me hurry up because I don't want to be the late friend. So yeah, I'll see y'all whenever I get to Keisha's house. And then he was like, um, what's wrong with you say, telling me that you miss me sometimes or some shit? Boy, yeah. we are not boyfriend and girlfriend. You do not even. Don't let it be. Hey y'all, it is currently 2.55 a.m. And I'm back home now. I'm sitting in the parking lot, um, getting ready to get out and go in the house. So, 
I had a pretty fun night. <laughs> um, I'm not like belligerently drunk. I'm just a little, you know, buzzed. But um, I made sure I was safe enough to drive home and I was not driving all over the road crazy. But that's besides the point. Well, no, that's important. But yeah, so um, we had a pretty good night. Um, I didn't really vlog much and I ended up vlogging on my phone because I don't want to take my camera with me. And y'all can probably barely see me. I'm sorry. I have my light on in the car. But what was I going to say? Yeah, so the first place that we stopped was Velvet Taco. And after that, we ended up going to like three different places. <laughs> so the first place we went, well, we were supposed to go to what I told y'all, um, the Tipsy Alchemist. But that just did not work out. So the next place we went to was called End Zone, and there was a just <laughs> there was like a big thing going on there with the bartender, and she didn't want to serve us no drinks, so we left. And then the last place we went to was called Wait. Okay, yeah, End Zone. So the last <laughs> the last place that we went to was called. Um, the hideaway or something like that the hide i have to ask but yeah i think it was called the hideaway um in addison and it was pretty interesting <laughs> um but needless to say i did have fun um we actually ended up meeting keisha's friends so it was me keisha and then four of her friends so it was six spots it was six of us all together um but they were really cool we had a lot of fun i was very entertained um but yeah everybody got you know pretty lit have fun dance put those in here but they may be a little bit too x-rated for me to put on youtube but i'll see i will see y'all in the morning or whenever i get up i'll probably still end up getting up early in the morning but yeah it's sunday morning now so what am i talking about i don't know <laughs> I promise y'all I'm not like stupid drunk I'm really not I think I'm just tired and you can even see my eyes like yeah but um yeah I'm gonna go in the house and get out of my clothes and I'm gonna tie my hair up and I'm gonna I really didn't wear any makeup um I just put on that rare beauty blush that I got a couple of vlogs ago and just put on a little bit of concealer under my eyes and of course I had to put on my lip gloss because who is Simone with that lip gloss? But, um, yeah, I'm gonna just go in and take all this stuff off. And, yeah, I will see y'all whenever I wake up for the day. I don't really know what I'm gonna do for the day, but we'll figure it out. Okay, Bentley, we're not gonna squirrel watch. Let's go. Bentley, I'm not playing with you. Let's go. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Get. I don't care about you having the attitude either. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. It is 102. So I'm getting ready to go. Well, actually, first, I'm going to stop by one of these car places and see if they can help me um, put in this light bulb. Yeah, I'm going to stop by. Um, actually, I'm going to call Discount Tire real quick. It's like right up the street. I'm going to see if they can help me change the um, the daytime running light bulbs because one of them went out. I go, after I do that, hopefully they can do it. I'm going to go to Academy because I'm going to see if I can find those pants that I was telling y'all about. 
and there's a location it's pretty close to me it says they do have them in stock um and i know i can order them online but the ones that i saw they have them in men's and women's and i don't really know how those pants fit so i want to go in to be able to like feel the material and like you know that kind of stuff and then after that i'm not really sure what i'm doing so let me call a discount tire first they closed <laughs> okay so not discount tire who was gonna call hmm yeah no way i forgot what they played they ain't that close too all right so i should have did this yesterday smart and i know y'all see i have on a hoodie today so it, today is 66 degrees outside yesterday i think it was the same it was like 65 or 66 i'm just i don't understand what this weather is trying to do besides make people sick but yeah i decided to go ahead and um bask in the the glory of me being able to wear <laughs> a hoodie probably for the last day i'm trying to figure out what this truck is doing <clears throat> because you kind of almost just got ran over by a truck. It is good. <laughs> just made it to i was gonna say amazon <laughs> i just made it to academy and i'm about to go in it looks like it's a little packed and i hope i don't go in here and be sticking out like a sore thumb because you know <laughs> and then i'm going to the hunting section they were like girl why are you over here but um yeah i'm gonna try to record and not be awkward i think i've gotten a little bit more comfortable with um vlogging by myself in public i just haven't gotten comfortable with holding the camera up to my face and other people around because although i know vlogging is very common like two out of five people will probably vlog and especially in dallas but i don't know i just kind of feel weird especially around like older people because they don't you know all right guys let's go Um, which, which section is the hunting section? Farms. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm trying to see why he was staring at me like that. But okay. I'm 
I'm right here. Are you open? Yeah. How are you doing? How are you? Have you? Okay. I like the camera. Huh? I like the camera. Oh, thank you. Then, like, is it broken? No, I just had it facing the wrong way. Uh, yeah, that camera card can sit in the log before the bar. Mm, no, it's okay. Right. This, I really don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'll be 32, 46, the young bag. Um, yeah. With the hanger or without? You can take it. Thank you, you too. I'll put it up. Come in. It was a very quick um, in and out five minute trip. I felt so awkward in there. I don't know if it's because I never go in there or it was just like the vibe was just really weird. Like, I almost got ran over by two men because they don't watch where they're going. Um, and then when I first came in to ask the guy like where the hunting section was, he was, <laughs> he was staring at me like, like literally that's how his face was looking. I don't know if it's because I had a camera in my hand or if y'all can hear me in the store because that music, I think that's something else that was throwing me out too because that music was, um, <laughs> it was a little bit, it wasn't my type of music, I'll just say that. But yeah, the pants, Um, I I think these, um, yeah, I think these are, in, uh, I think these are men's y'all when I get home because I'm gonna also try them on when I get home too but yeah like I was saying in the store they actually have like an elastic band on the inside so they can expand which is really cool because like this part right here like where the pocket is I don't know if y'all can see that but it has like a a part that expands which I I mean I'm sure this is you know it's already wide enough for my waist. It may gap a little in the back, but yeah. I can't wait to style these. Like these are gonna be so cute. Like I'm so happy that I went in and found exactly what I wanted. Like that rarely happens for me. I'm actually, um, yeah, Starbucks is on my hit list right now because I went there, I wanna say two weeks ago. So, yeah, I went to Starbucks um, a couple weeks ago, and I got a the Impossible Breakfast Sandwich, which is the, you know, the plant-based or vegan breakfast sandwich. And so, <clears throat> I don't get them all the time, but when I do get them, I ask them if they can just leave it in the plastic and leave it cold so I can warm it up at home. Please don't park directly in front of me. And they did. Oh my God, I hate when people do that. So yeah, I went to Starbucks and the girl took my order. I told her I wanted a breakfast sandwich. I leave it in the plastic. You know, you don't have to warm it up. So she gave me my total and I went up to the window. So this guy comes up to the window and he was like, um, unfortunately, I can't give you the breakfast sandwich without it being warmed up because if you happen to leave this location and get sick, it'll come back on us. And I'm like, really and I'm just looking because it, like they've never told me that before but I didn't you know I didn't argue with that because I do understand they don't want to be at fault if I come up sick so I was like okay well that's fine I asked him I was like y'all do use a separate spatula from you know the other breakfast breakfast sandwiches right and he was like um unfortunately no so first of all I used to work at Starbucks and the location that I, I don't know if it, it just depends on the location. First of all, that's that's disgusting. Like, that's number one. Number two, if somebody happens to get sick because you're mixing food, you're cross contaminated, and, and then okay, I'm getting frustrated again. <laughs> Any food service job you take, um, you know, the courses for uh, food service training, knowing what the the laws are and you know regulations and things like that 
and one thing that's really stressed is why is this camera so dark one thing that's really stressed is um, cross-contamination and making sure you're not mixing different foods so you know that crossed my mind and I'm just like I'm thinking to myself so you're telling me that people that are vegan or vegetarian you're giving them breakfast giving them a breakfast sandwich that you've used on other meat pro like actual meat products because I'm pretty sure if y'all go to Starbucks y'all know they have different breakfast sandwiches um, some of them are pork some of them are beef um, just there is like actual meat products so you telling me that y'all are using the same spatula for plant-based products as well and and I didn't ask him that but it, that's going through my mind and I literally I think I sat there for like a good five minutes and he was just like still want me to warm it up or was there anything else I can get for you what what do you think like the, <laughs> no even if like no that that really pissed me off but I was just like no just cancel my whole order like that's fine so basically more of the story is <laughs> my mom wanted me to go to Starbucks for her and I'll get her something but I'm not getting nothing because like I said I'm boycotting them because that really so basically I said all that to say um I'll go to get her something, but I'm not getting me nothing from Starbucks. I don't know how long it'll be until I go back, but they, like I said, they on my hit list right now, so, yeah, and they probably don't care because I'm just one customer of many, but that, like, that really bothers me. The fact that, and it's not even just me, like, people that have allergies to certain um, food, like I said, vegan or vegetarian, you telling me that you're warming up their breakfast sandwiches with the same um, utensils that you use on meat-based products? Like that, I mean, is that okay? And you know, now that I'm, I'm in my right mind to go and complain about that because I sure will put on my Karen and send a nice little email to Starbucks Corporate and I think I'm gonna do that too as soon as I get back home. <laughs> I sure will be caring today, I don't care. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not sure if I really told y'all about the outing yesterday um, when I got home. I think I told y'all a little bit about it, but I mean, basically, like I said, I think I told y'all all together. So it was me, Keisha, and then I met her uh, four friends, which they were really nice and sweet and just very entertaining. And, you know, I just love meeting them. And Keisha, you know, she did get pretty lit. <laughs> so I told her that I wasn't going to get drunk. Because I, I don't really drink like that anyway to get drunk, but... I told her that I can drink with however much she wants to because I'll drive her home. So, um, you know, she ended up getting drunk. <laughs> and I drove her home, made sure she was good. I think she did throw up a little bit. I don't know if she want me to tell y'all that. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I got her home, made sure she was good. And then I came back home and, yeah. As soon as I got home, I got right in the shower because there was this part in the, the bar that we went to um, outside we went outside on like the patio area and there was just like a lot of it was just filled with smoke cigarettes black and mouse weed vape any kind of smoke you can think of and i think they also had hookah too got home i just smelled like tequila and and weed <laughs> so i had to take a shower but then yeah right after that i went right to sleep and when i woke up this morning i didn't have like a hangover or anything i felt like a little like a my head was like a little fuzzy but i wasn't like sick to the stomach or anything okay y'all so i um stopped at what is this walgreens because i need to get a case of water and i just refused to go into the store but i promise i'm not even trying to be funny i swear i did not know that red box still existed like is anybody still watching these like seriously inquiring minds want to know <laughs> alright y'all I'm back home now I'm about to um, try on these pants because I want to see how they fit and I'm hoping that we have success so I'm about to try these on and then show y'all how they fit
Okay, so these are the pants. I love this fit. I knew that was gonna happen though. Really? I thought it had like a little extra button on the inside where you could like tighten it, but no. But I mean, it's okay. I don't think, it's not bad. Like I don't think they will like fall down or anything, but yeah. Just a little bit of gapping, but you know, if you know, you know. <laughs> but yeah, these are really cute. Like I really like how these fit. Of course they are a little bit long. Well, actually, not really. They're like a good length. So yeah. Oh my God, I love these. Yay. Okay, <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are really cute. And I love the print on them and just, they make the booty look good, girl. But yeah, I really love these and I can't wait to style these. Um, and here's a close up of the prints. Yes, so happy. But again, um, the ones that I got, this is the brand. It's by, I guess, Real Tree. Yeah, this is the brand. Real Tree edge and the style that i got are i guess this is the style real treat i don't know this is just what i got <laughs> so if you go to academy or wherever this is the brand and this is the style and um yeah that's another thing i wanted to show y'all i had ordered some shoes let me go get them <clears throat> okay so yeah i ordered some new balance and honestly y'all i've been ordering shoes like crazy like i don't know what's been going on with me but these are just the um the most recent shoes that i ordered this is what they look like and i love this colorway like this colorway is so cute it's like neutral there was another pair that i wanted from the same 997h line but <clears throat> i can't find them in my size so in these i actually got men's they're men's five and a half i look like a boy right now <laughs> so these are a men's five and a half and the other ones that i saw they were like a olive green color um still like the same neutral colorway but just you know different colors but they were so cute but i can't find them like they only started at a men's seven and they don't have them in women so I'm gonna keep searching for them. I'm gonna put them on the screen so y'all can see which ones I'm talking about. But when I was looking for those, I ended up finding these instead. So I went ahead and got these. And I haven't worn them yet, but yeah. I did try them on and they're very comfortable. I was reading a lot of reviews that were saying they run small, but actually don't, for, for me personally, they are true to size because I do wear a man five and a half and um women between like seven and seven and a half but you know those are the sizes that i stay between so i mean they fit good to me but um yeah they're very comfortable so can't wait to wear these honestly i'm probably not doing anything else for the rest of the day so i'm not even gonna drag this vlog out and bore y'all to death order keisha some flowers um because i think i told y'all her birthday is on tuesday which is may 24th but um i'm gonna go ahead and order them now so they can you know be sent to her on that day wait should i have said that well yeah because this vlog will be posted it'll probably be posted like the day of her birthday but by then she would have gotten the flowers if y'all made this to the end thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and last comments happy birthday keisha i love you i'm so glad that i met you um you know you're just a great friend and you know i see us being friends for a long time so i just want to say i love you girl i hope that everybody has a great week let's start off the week with positive energy um you know let's just be positive spread love in the world not hate 
if you don't have anything nice to say then just keep it to yourself just just try to be positive i know it's hard because it's a lot going on but change starts with one person there we go <laughs> so yeah um i will see y'all in the next video and i love y'all and yeah bye y'all